The last time we saw Kyle Crane was from Dying Light the following, where the game ended with the player having to make one of two choices, defeat the mother for the cure, or go ahead and nuke Haran. And from there, for nearly seven years, we didn't have a definitive answer on the fate of Kyle Crane, the truth behind Kyle Crane. Where is he? Our main protagonist from the original had such a witty charm to him. He was so beloved in the community, and players are inching for his return inching for an answer as to whether or not this man is roaming around somewhere infected or if he's a pile of ash but today we finally have a definitive answer on whether or not kyle crane is still alive there was a developer live stream with teclan that confirmed his fate and before we do go and play it make sure you are subscribed nearly 80 percent of you are not subscribed to the channel help me out let me be on your mind rub one out for me under the table all right roll the thing i i, I think you are now that the end of the dying life was dying light following and our lovely kyle crane get out from the quarantine unfortunately with a virus and he spread all of the pandemic stuff on the war. He says, I think we all know that Crane unfortunately got out and spread the virus. Finally confirmed Kyle Crane after years of not knowing exactly what happened to him, he got out. When Crane was presented with the choice to sacrifice everyone to blow up Haran, he ultimately decided against it. He went with the choice of killing the mother in order to take the vials to bring it back to his people that desperately needed his help. And honestly, this one makes the most sense. Saving his people, that one, matches more so of Crane's character, his personality, and his motivations. The whole point of the following and exploring the new area was to help find the cure for his people. And he had this mindset to the very end of the line and that my friend is canon now but now we have an even bigger question is kyle crane going to return and honestly i think he absolutely is the amount of evidence easter egg and subtle hints at his return are overwhelming it goes beyond the subtle mentions to his character during the story memorials appearing in the game there are so many little messages and hints Take this one for example. On a developer live stream, there was a folder that said Kyle Crane is still alive. It's a bit on the nose. It could be there to throw us off. Definitely possible. But there is still so much more evidence hinting at his return that we're going to dive deeper into after a message from this sponsor. Father's Day is coming up and trying to find a gift for them can be very difficult. But luckily with today's sponsor, The Ridge Wallet, they make gift giving super easy, especially with one of their biggest ongoing sales happening right now and to fully take advantage of that sale you can use the link down below in the description to get up to 40 percent off honestly ridge has redefined the wallet game completely and it's going to be the last wallet you ever need i've been using this thing for a few weeks now and i honestly cannot recommend it enough the ridge wallet holds up to 12 different cards has a nice little room for extra cash but more importantly it's super slim and doesn't take up that much room in over 30 plus different colors and styles you are bound to find one that's the perfect fit for your dad they also have ridge key cases where it prevents your keys from jiggling around like crazy and keeps up to six secure what i love about ridge is that they take care of their customers and they're also super confident with their product you can even go ahead test drive their products for 90 days and if you like it you keep it if you don't like it get a full refund back and starting today you can use the link down below in the description and also the pinned comment for up to 40 percent off with over 3 million customers and 50 000 five star reviews it'll be the perfect gift for your dad all that said thank you so much to ridge for sponsoring this video let's get back to it now now friend of the channel best gamer ali actually dug into the game files and found some old cut content regarding a waltz audio log i'm gonna let the clip speak for itself right here all test results reports are gone and with them the chance for a cure I've lost any hope of gaining access to Kyle Crane. That is a lot to digest, and although this is all through cut content, Crane made it out of Haran and the GRE was doing testing on him for a cure. Things go south, and now he is out there somewhere again. Walt, at one point, was looking for Kyle Crane for reasons unknown. Teclan had plans to bring Kyle Crane back from the very beginning, but they ultimately decided against it. And he was cut from the game, or at least a bigger role was. And since release, the ever-growing support for his return is now bigger than ever before. And if there's anything that we know about Teclan at this point, they love listening to community feedback and suggestions. Seeing them 
them pivoting to something like this would not be a surprise. We also have to remember that long ago, leaked DLC 2 files and stories came out and it was kind of a mess. The leaks were hinting more towards factions and a focus on humans once again, and as you would expect, community response to that was quite harsh. It was the exact opposite of what we requested. But it actually doesn't end here because after Techland ended the live stream confirming Crane is still around, Morse code messages started appearing throughout the world of Dying Light 2, and the Call of Duty Zombies fan in me was having PTSD. There were three radios that were found. The first one is decoded to the woods are death. The second one decoded to target down north northeast of Villador. Third one, we found him, send help. And we will explain those in just a second. They all play a super important role, but there's still more events occurring because at this time, Kyle Crane outfits are now being released. Their Twitter page is now blatantly posting about the whereabouts of Kyle Crane. When you go and take all of this information where we basically had nothing surrounding Kyle Crane for the first year this game was released, aside from little Easter eggs and references through the story, all of a sudden we get a developer confirming he escaped, a folder saying he's still alive, Morse code radios appearing in the open world saying, we found him, send help. An outfit for him is now in the game. Twitter posts are now discussing him even further. To me, this is all pretty obvious that he's going to be back in some sort of fashion. The subtle messaging, it's not really that subtle. The second DLC is intended to take place after the epilogue, presumably outside of Villador. The first Morse code message says the woods are death. And would you look at that? Lo and behold, the DLC 2 concept art shows something that's dark and gloomy in a very wood-like area. And if the DLC is expected to take place outside of Villador, go back to this Morse code message right here. Target down, north northeast of Villador. It all brings it together. You see, the only hole in this is the actual specifics on the lore and the outbreak. And to me, my understanding of the lore surrounding the outbreak it's actually pretty straightforward. The Haran virus, it occurs in 2013, and then sometime in 2013 to 2014, the events of the following happen. From there, Kyle Crane escapes Haran. He spreads the virus to the world. We heard that from the developer. Once Crane spreads the virus, a vaccine is made to combat the Haran virus, as explained in the Dying Light 2 opening cutscene. The exact year is kind of unknown. However, using in-game newspapers, the GRE worked in secrecy to continue research as early as 2015, and another variant escaped back into the world in 2021. And the fall happens sometime between between June 2022 and March 2023, thus leading us right into the events of Dying Light 2 and The Last City. What fits perfectly in this scenario is that Walt's audio log. When the GRE was working in secrecy, it's possible that they were testing on Kyle Crane. But like we said, things go south, a variant escapes, and they no longer have access to him, thus confirming that he's out there once again. You can just throw that little cut content segment right in here, and it fits perfectly in the timeline. I truly do believe that Kyle Crane will be making a return. I mean, Summer Games Fest is coming up pretty soon, and that could be the perfect place to reveal it. Techland is attending after all, or it could be for their new game. And while Techland has been providing major updates to overhaul the core systems, and I'm truly grateful for it, I've actually been loving some of their recent updates, it's unfortunately not going to bring in a lot of players. They need a slam dunk. They need to blow you. <laughs> They need to blow you out of the water. Having the main guy from Dying Light 1 return is such an easy way to achieve that. My only worry is that if they do do this, it's not going to be for cheap fan service. Really hoping for a proper, well-written story here. But now, I leave you with this. What do you think about this? Do you want Kyle Crane to return based off of polls? A lot of you do. A huge thank you once again to Ridge for sponsoring this video. And if you haven't already, go ahead, check out my previous video. It unfortunately, it got age-restricted. YouTube really, uh, bent me over and fu-